know, it's been two weeks since that devastating fire in the Bronx that claimed the lives of 17 people. And despite all of the money raised by the public, and there's quite a lot of it, survivors say none of that money has actually made it to them. A lot of things that are being done for us, the families are not receiving. A lot of families that I speak to who work, who do not receive any government funding, are not being helped. Now, many residents of the Twin Parks Towers remain in hotels. They're frustrated about how long it's taking for housing and financial assistance to be distributed. Bronx Borough President Vanessa Gibson joins us this morning with some answers. Good morning. Thanks so much for being here. Good involved. morning. Thank you so much for having me. Good yeah, so let's just get right to it. The mayor's fund it raised $2 million for these survivors. Do you have any indication on when that money will actually be given to those folks? Yes, well, the mayor's fund has already started with its first disbursement. Each household received a little over $2,200. And there were other organizations at the Monroe Service Center that also provided gift, gift cards at mm -hmm. valued at $500. And then yesterday, we were also able to join Bronx businesses who collectively raised over $100,000 and also dispersed $500 gift yeah. cards for each member of the household. The money from the mayor's fund is going to continue to be dispersed. Um, obviously, we are grateful for all of the overwhelming support from New Yorkers and Bronxites. Right. The love extended to the families at Twin Parks has been truly overwhelming and truly heartfelt. Yeah, yeah, certainly. I mean, and, and New Yorkers just, they always know how to step up and do the right thing, right? And so I think that's, right. that's where those folks might be asking. You see the dollar signs, over a million dollars raised. Yes. So are you, Ms. Gibson, in communication, I guess, with those community groups who spearheaded the GoFundMe campaign? So many people came in and, and, and donated to them. When will that money be distributed? Yes, well, you're probably referencing the Gambian Youth Organization yes. that started the GoFundMe on Sunday, January 9th, the day of the fire. They have raised well over $1 million from, you know, organizations and New Yorkers across the city. And we're working with them to provide the support to build their capacity so they're able to disperse the funds. Mm. And we've also made it very clear that although it's referred to as the Gambian Youth Organization, the money will be expended to every family member of Twin Parks, uh, beyond the West African community, but all residents in Twin Parks will be recipients of those funds. And because so many families are displaced, many of them still in hotels, is that part of the problem of getting, finding out where they actually are to give them these funds? Well, the Monroe site has been open with a multitude of services on site, including the Red Cross, OEM, HRA, DSS, DHS, Department of Labor, a number of organizations that have been providing on-site assistance to assess the needs of the households, household size, household income, those households that are voucher recipients, making sure that we can transfer project-based Section 8 vouchers to tenant vouchers so they're able to take them where they go. Uh, right now, we've done interviews with many of the families. Bronx Works mm -hmm. on site doing case management. CBR is doing the housing assistance to really determine the needs of families, how they would like to transfer where they want to go. We've done visits of new apartments, and right now we're making sure the vouchers are transferable and also really assessing the needs of the counseling services. We're working with DOE as it relates to the students in the local schools. There's a lot of work yeah. that has yeah. happened in two weeks. So many pieces of the puzzle here that you're, you are Absolutely. coordinating and organizing and trying to put together. We know you're not going to yes. give up on that and you're going to stay with it every step of the way. But I do want to shift right. our attention, um, Borough President, to this other big story. Because over the weekend you hosted Mayor Eric Adams at a roundtable discussion about gun violence in the Bronx. This was hours after that shooting in Harlem, which obviously claimed the life of Officer Jason Rivera and left his partner fighting for his life, Wilbert Mora, days after an 11th month old shot in the face in your borough in the Bronx. So Mayor Adams, take a listen right here, says the city is not backing down from this fight, and then we'll talk about it. We know that this is a painful moment, but it's also a purposeful moment. How do we turn our pain into purpose? This is a battle between the killers and New Yorkers, and we are not going to lose that battle and we're not going to be divided by their violence. And in fact, it's going to unite us like never before. So, Borough President, you know, people obviously just fed up with this kind of gun violence, looking for tangible outcomes maybe from that meeting about how to get these guns off the street. So what were some of those tangible outcomes? Well, let me say I am fed up along with my fellow Bronxites. The violence is unacceptable, and it seems like a state of crisis and a call to action and attention. When an 11-month-old baby is shot in her car seat with her mother, we have a problem. 
and we joined with Mayor Adams and elected officials in the community to meet with the anti-gun violence organizations, BRAG, SOS, Guns Down, Life Up, Standing Up to Violence, and so many others to really strategize, to find out what we can do to offer more support for these groups on the ground that are doing God's work. Hospital responders, mediators, they are violence interrupters. They're working on site every day to really get, give young people a real chance at a future. And we need to build their organizations, expand their catchment areas, give them real support. We need to cut the red tape with bureaucracies and so many city agencies that are not working together. And Mayor Adams understands that. We have a problem in this city. The trafficking of guns, the overproliferation of guns in our communities is a problem. And yeah. many of them are coming from out of state. And just real quickly, do you know how baby Catherine is doing? Any updates on her? So we've been in contact with her family and obviously mom and dad are asking for prayers. She's still in critical condition, mm -hmm. but baby Catherine is a fighter. She celebrated her first, bir first birthday on Monday yeah. and, and sorry, on Friday. And we joined together to just sing happy birthday her and we continue to pray for her healing and her strength. Yes, yeah, sending so much love and positivity to that family and hopefully that there is some kind of answer to that over proliferation of guns that you talk about. I'm sure you'll be saying on top of it. Thank you so much for being here, Borough President. Thank you so much and keep praying for us. Thank yes. you. Yep.